Miku Paul's story starts thousands of years ago and takes us right up to today. Whales, Pollock, a churning sea. For me, it's a story where taking care of a community means we each ask for what we need and no more. Whale Song, a Pasmaquoddy story. Pasmaquoddy means Pollock Spearer, or those of the place where Pollock are plentiful. This story came to me from a brilliant Pasmaquoddy elder and ethnobotanist. Any mistakes in the telling are my own. My friend tells me that when he was a child, he was taught many things by his grandmother. This is in keeping with Wabanaki custom, as elders are revered for their experience and knowledge about living in the world. I myself was raised by my mother and grandfather, who taught me many things I could never have learned in white schools. Wabanaki were hunters and gatherers, and some of us to the south also grew seasonal gardens using squash, winter corn, and beans, known as the Three Sisters, to sustain ourselves. Pasmaquoddy people also live near the oceans and know them well. And so, seasonal fishing has always been a practice. Long before the settlers came, they used spears to fish for the pollock, which were plentiful then. When the time came for the great migration of the sea giants, Budepahi, certain persons would go from wigwam to wigwam, and later from house to house to gather special notched sticks from each family. These tokens would indicate how many pollock a family needed, both fresh and dried and salted or smoked. I have no doubt that some pollock were roasted right away for a celebratory meal. This practice was common in my own family in the 1960s when I was growing up in Old Town. Once the tokens were gathered, people assembled on the beach to construct the racks and light the fires as night came. Then the drum began with the whale song that called them to Pasmaquoddy Bay. You see, as the whales passed by, the pollock were driven before them, and many swam into the bay. It was ever so, and this is why the people prepared for the spearfishing harvest. Wigindawamal, he sings a song of great power, luring the whales with it. All night long the song went on, until at dawn the spearing began. Some used canoes, but I'm told there were so many pollock that the taller men would simply wade in and spear them standing. The water rolled and broiled. Such were the numbers of fish. Once the people had enough, the work of preserving began. Never was more taken than what was needed for that winter, and in this way, the people survived another year. In my mind's eye, I can still see the ocean at midnight and see the stars who are said to be Gluskop's brothers and sisters. I hear the drum and the whale song. I smell the wood smoke and the sharp sea air and hear the voices of the people calling to the sea giants, calling as they waited for the gifts that Mother Earth offered them.